Uh, yeah, Coach, um, what would you say to a team after a uh, tough loss like this? Uh... Um, really, I mean, the message was you got to give Carolina credit. Uh, they came in here and played the way they had to. It wasn't good enough on our end, uh, starting with me on down. And that's the bottom line. They came in here and they, they ran the ball. They shortened the game. Uh, we didn't do enough on offense. Give them credit. Turn the ball over in the red zone. That's, that's usually not a good sign. And uh, credit to Carolina. Um, offensively, after Matt had his hands stepped on, you all seemed to, to, to go into a slump there. I don't, it was not throwing hand, but I don't know if that was just a coincidence or uh, where did the offense go after that point? Well, uh, you tell me particularly where you thought it went to a slump because um, it happened on the drive. But, you know, when he threw the interception and then we came back down and you got a chance and you're in a 12 10 game and you got a critical third down. Uh, we don't make the play. We missed the field goal. I, I didn't think Matt was doing anything particularly bad or, or great. I, I don't think that had any impact on a D-led. I think that you're, you're, you know, that's making something of something that really didn't. We didn't execute better. They got after us. Um, like I said that you got to give them credit. We didn't make enough plays. Michael, uh, at what point did you know Calvin Ridley wasn't going to be here? Well, it's with Calvin. I mean, like he said, I think, believe he put out a statement. And so I'd let Calvin, you know, speak for himself. We, it's a personal issue. Um, so, again, I'm not going to go into many details. And, and when we realized he wasn't going to go this morning, we made him inactive. So it was this morning that you found out? There's a lot of things, Michael. And so things can happen and change day to day. You guys were all at practice Friday. So uh, if Calvin's doing something personal, and it's going to remain personal on my end, Calvin's statement speaks for, for him. And so when we got here today and we, we, we talked, that's – we put them in active. How does this change what you maybe are able to do over at least the next few weeks? Because at least he said he's stepping away from at this time. It's not clear what. It's like any other injury, Michael. No different. When we got on that plane to London. We got to find a way. Uh, we got to find a way to win. We got to find a way to execute better offensively. There's no excuses. Um, so everybody's, you know, there's, it's the NFL. There's injuries come up. Things come up. And uh, we got to find a way. And the end of the first half, that last drive, did you had to make a 44 left when you got the ball, you ran the ball twice, and then Matt, Matt scrambled. What was the strategy there in terms of trying to play? Yeah, it's pretty simple. We, we got off or ripped off a pretty good run. Um, you're playing the game within the game. We get the ball right after half, Michael. So you're looking at the end result. We didn't execute it. They blew up the run. I mean, you're thinking you get an earned first down, we're right into it, and give them credit. We didn't execute well. They had a free hitter. Uh, and I'll go back and look at the tape. I'm, I'm pretty damn sure what happened. So you get a negative play, and then we, we went for it like you would on any other third down. So it wasn't like it was like run, run, screen. You're trying to make more of it than it is. Give them credit. So when you get in there, we had three timeouts, right? Plenty of time to go down and score. And so it created a negative play. George, on your left. Did, as, as far as the uh, downfield passing game goes, it seems like Matt's only got just so many intermediary intermediary and short routes to go. Is that something that's, um, that's a big concern to you right now? Did you, did you see last week? Well, yeah. About. And this week, too, we tried to press the ball down there. you got to give them credit. And there's also a thing that called a pass rush that speeds it up. So that's another false narrative. We did. We tried to go right at them, uh, give them credit. They executed. Sorry? Yeah, uh, 200 and three rushing yards for Carolina. I know you said that was their game plan coming in. I mean, just the fact of them executing that game plan. I mean, what did you kind of need from the defense? Well, they, like I said, I mean, they, they shortened the game down and credit to them. They were physical. They ran the ball. They kept it in a lot of third and shorts. You know, they went 10 for seven on, on third down. At the end of the day, though, as ugly as that felt, they scored 19 points. We got to do more offensively. When you get in the National Football League, we got to score more than 13 points. So I know it was ugly. We got to do better. We'll look at the tape. We got to stop the run. Give them credit. On the flip side, you got to give their defense credit. We didn't do enough. Uh, we didn't do things well enough to win that game. Did you feel like uh, I know three for ten on third down today with the offense? Did, did you feel like you were putting yourselves in good enough position on first and second down, or or was it a disconnect on third? Down? We had more. We had more intermediate third downs than we did a week ago. Um, you know, combination of things. I didn't think we were clean enough. Like I said, it starts with me. I got to do a better job coaching. Uh, give them credit. And like I said, they, they, 
they covered us. We didn't we didn't do a job getting open. We probably rushed through, so maybe that's why it looked like there was intermediate. I mean, he wasn't like he had a lot of time back there either. It's a good rush group. So, Josh, with Calvin's absence, obviously you had planned for him to be here. How much did him not being here affect the way you were able to call the game and the way that they played you? You think? Were you, could you could you see a difference in what they were? Probably able to a little bit. Maybe the way they matched a man. You know, I, you know, you'd have to ask. Uh, Matt Rule or Phil Snow, that one, but uh, that would be the biggest difference for, would be how they match defensively. It's like you got to have contingency plans. A guy goes out the first play of the game, whether it's your quarterback, your receiver, tight end, you better have contingency plans. So um, if I had a guess, the best educated guess is going to be, probably affected their man coverage plan. Anything else? Uh, yeah, Eric Harris hit on Robbie Anderson there. It looked like things got a little heated there, but that's something. Was there, did you get a good gauge, a good view on that hit? Because I thought it was a clean hit. I thought the refs did a nice job. Usually now, well, you know, we've done a nice job, you know, taking the launching the head out of, out of the game. And he hit him right in the, the middle part. It's a good clean hit by Eric. It's football. It's an emotional game. And uh, what I don't want to see is all the chirping. I mean, I think that's – I don't want to see that from our team. Josh? Did you notice any differences in Kyle today beyond just the lack of production? Did you see anything? Well, I mean, they did a nice job covering him. I mean, he's a rookie. I mean, you guys, like I said, you guys want to go ahead and make a you know, bronze bus for him in Canton. And we went through this. They had, a, they had a good game plan. I'll go back and look at the tape. We certainly um, tried to go after him. And they did a good job of covering him. We got a couple plays. They made a couple nice plays. It's not gonna, he's not going to go out for 200 yards every game. So uh, we've got other guys that can move the football and score, but give them credit. Emily? Is this the same personal issue Calvin dealt with a couple weeks ago? And if so, is this something you guys have been? Again, I, I'll let Calvin's about? statement speak for, for him. I, I'm not going to ever speak for another player or another coach when it comes to personal issues. Yeah, Coach, um, what are some of the thoughts that uh, you know, lead you to say, Got to do more offensively. How can you all do more offensively? Well, there's certain, you know, that's that's a part of coaching, D-Led, mm -hmm. right? So we'll go back and look at it. Like I said, they did a nice job, and, and you know, we we made some adjustments. They made more plays than we did, and you just got to look at it and see where we go from here. You know, that's going to be that, that that way every week. Mm -hmm. They said they got they got some. Uh, that's a that's a better defense when Shaq Thompson's in there. They added Gilmore in there. Hughes them play some man coverage, match them up on Kyle. And um, so we'll, we'll go back there and look at it. There's a lot of ways. It's one game. We got 10 to go. A long, long season ahead of us. So here we are, three and four. Not where we want to be, but we got a lot of football. Good. It looked like Sam, Sam leaked out. It looked like a few times again. Is that just something at this point that the is almost that flow on the defense? Or is there something in your defense that? Michael, I mean, you're talking about a million different variables. There's a lot of athletic quarterbacks in this league. Um, it's certainly, he didn't drop back a ton. A lot of times it can be the rush lanes. You may get a pressure. They may block you. You know, when you play man coverage, different variations of man coverage, and nobody's open sometimes, and they turn their back. If you, if, Like I said, if they, they pass off a game, you may have a certain pressure called, and there may be a lane, and then, you know, we didn't keep them in there. So... Obviously, you know, he did a nice job extending those, that third down. Anything else? Are there moments or plays that you can point to where you felt like things were turning in the wrong direction? What's that? Were, were there moments or plays that you can point to in the game where you felt things weren't going in the right direction? Guys, it's, a, it's an NFL game. It's a 12-10 game in the fourth quarter. We're right there on the fringe. You know, we don't, we don't catch a third down. We miss a field goal. I mean, like I said it wasn't the prettiest game offensively. You know, where should you get that at 13 to 12? I mean, who knows? You know, it affects the play calling. There's a, there's a cause and effect. You know, the momentum's real in football, and there is a cause and effect. If you can find a way to get a lead right there, who knows, right? Yeah, you'll never know. But we, we didn't happen. We dropped it, and we missed the field goal. All right. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you.